Hi, this is Kelly. And Kim. Welcome to the skinny. So, yesterday at the Weight Watcher scale, I gained, I think, three pounds. And I blocked it out. I haven't looked. I'm going to be honest with you. I was not a happy camper. Well, I did probably the same. Yes. But, but my response to her is the holidays were a blast. They're over. And but it's almost the end of January. But when we went back in January onto star points, we were doing 30 weeklies and we, we were, were using our weeklies. Yes. Which, as we've said before in the past, it's not good for us. You know, we got to stick 26 to 28, it's 28 during dailies. Yes. And avoid using our weeklies. That's just honestly how that's just our we body. Work. I mean, I'll be honest with so you. So let's be real. I'll be honest with you. We've not been doing what. We need to be doing to be in weight loss mode. To be in weight loss. We do track. We're tracking. Yep. We're both tracking but faithfully. We weren't, but we weren't eating in weight loss mode. Well, when I, feel like real, when I feel like we're also not doing, we are doing our bike, which is great. But it's the winter. And I think we, we're just, we're used to going to the zoo all the time. We're used to going for walks but all the we time. we have our bike. And I'm currently behind. My bike's behind you. My, our bike. And I've been taping the, because it's got that big, huge Aerodyne wheel. And I'm putting, my, my trainer does, um duct tape and I got the British flag duct tape because it's cold over the blowing at you because it's blowing at it's you and I'm freezing. like freezing and if you know me I'm a cold cat I sleep with a heated mattress pad our heat set at like 73 and sometimes a heater blowing on me I know that sounds absolutely I mean, I insane I just need three blankets put three blankets on and call it a day that's still not warm enough for me and you know it's not. I mean, I sleep with a heater. I, I actually work with a heater blowing on me at work. Or oh, I do too. Oh, I, I do I'm too. a cold cat like nobody's business. So we decided today what we kind of really, really wanted to talk about is really kind of, you know, that getting back into the swing. Because you really come off the holidays and you kind of start and you're a little like, oh, it's kind of like, you know, when the new people start in the new January. Because I, I started in January and we yes. started. It was January 4th. Yep. So you start in January and you're a little, you're excited, yes. but you're a little like finding your feet, finding your feet. And it kind of feels that way this time, like but not I'm finding a, my feet. But not in a bad way. No. Oh no, not at all. It feels exciting. Cause remember how you felt that sense of like excitement yep. and, but empowered. So I do feel even though I'm getting three pounds ish. Yeah. I feel empowered. Well, it doesn't help. We haven't been to our meetings almost like in a month no. because January was crazy. Crazy. Then I had a stomach virus, which again, not going to go to and Weight Watchers. Didn't even give you a decent weight loss for the stomach virus. Clearly How not. Is that? Clearly <laughs> not. But the reality is, it's it's like not doing that. I mean, that always not doing that is that's just so key because it pumps you up. It At does. Least it does for us. Well, and especially my favorite thing mm -hmm. is the new people come into the meetings. I love that. Part. I do too. I it's love so that. exciting to see all the newbies. I, they're, they're like so excited when they lose weight and it's just like, I know, isn't it great? You know, it just makes me happy. I love it. And so what we did starting so Friday, so Friday night, when well, no, Saturday after, sorry, last night, last I guess, night. Oh my God, I'm like a day off. It's like two days have passed. Um, I said, we got to go grocery, but I got, I got to know what to buy. So we got did, I plan. just took my, my basic calendar for 2020 and just did a quick, and I got the, Kelly got this for me on Staples. Isn't that really nice? Super cute. Somebody's going to online. Ask, it's TF Publishing, but it was from Staples. Staples and online. And you can only get it online. You can't yeah. get it in the store. No. Um, and I, what I like about it, I'm going to share that part, is it does the. She loves the calendar. Monthly. And then it does like a weekly thing and it gives you like lists to make and priorities. Things to things do. Things to do. Yeah. Um, things to move to next the next week. I like it. But I just use this part for the weekly to list what we're doing for dinner. Yep. Um, because I can just glance and go, oh, look yes. what I'm for dinner. Because that way, breakfast and lunches are easy. Yes. Dinner. It, it, that had to happen. So, and actually, one thing is in the freezer I'm going to share with you. You can probably see my little scar over here, too. Um, the arm. But, um, so I will pull that other item out when we get to the sharing portion. Yep. But we did a meal plan. Went to the grocery store, got what we didn't have in the house. And I feel I felt really good about it. Yes. Um, we're gonna work in the twenty six to twenty eight range this week. Yes, and that's I'm just excited. from our body, just yes. from past and history. So we, that's what works. Yes. For us. So we know if you've got thirty a day and they thirty work, work for, for you, you and you're losing, stay with stay that. Stay with it. Only 
kind of monitor yourself if you're you're doing that and you're not losing. This is from years of experience. Yes. Trust us. Yes. You know, we this we know what, what our body we've been doing this six years and yeah. this that's just what got us where we needed to be. Yeah. Um and we just know with our thyroid that that's kind of what we need to do. The that's, thyroid. That's been just like we know I can't eat more than one banana in a day. Yeah. Um I know this about myself. It's not it's never works out well. So that being said, that's, yes. that's what we do. So you, you do what works best for you. Yes. So we did our meal plan. Super excited. I've already tracked my breakfast for the rest of the week. And I have tracked um, the meals I'm aware of, like my salad. I've tracked anything that I'm aware of. I've tracked the dinners I left untracked. Yeah. Just because if I change around. Like flip days. Like Wednesday to Tuesday. I'm like, yeah. oh, I feel like this tonight. I'm going to flip it. Yes. So the dinner I didn't put in. Lunches I put in yes. that I knew. Yes. And dinners. So yes. I'm super excited. Yes. I feel pumped up. I feel like I'm I do. So new again. <laughs> you feel like a newbie. I feel like, 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 like a newbie. It's That's exciting. It is actually a good feeling to have when you feel like a newbie. Because that's the best feeling ever. It really is. It, it, it really is because you're just so super excited and you're into programming. And you're seeing that it's working. Yes. It's, it's, yes. it's a great feeling. And water has been, I've been, I have to say in the last year, yeah. I'm so proud. I remember I've talked in the past about, I mean, you've been watching for way old videos. Water was a huge struggle. We are water me. drinkers. And it's not anymore. Yeah. I mean, I'm I get water the drinkers. big, and I'm doing like this big, like 24, 32, or whatever. That my, my big thing is it's yeah. huge. Yeah, don't think I, I don't drink like, Diet Pop, but I drink oh, a yeah. crap ton of water. But four or five of those happen in a work day. Yeah. On the weekend, my drinking, maybe not as many. Sure, sure. But I, I'm not sweating over that. Yeah. I'm getting During the in weekday where I can and. I'm so excited about yes, it. Yes, we're huge liquid drinkers. So, I mean, we're... So, the water, you know, happening. it's one I don't have to worry about. It's one of those yeah. things that's always on the list to it take It used to be of. our nemesis it to really get in, you know. Did. It was really hard for us. Oh, it but was, it's now it's habit. It, it really is. tough. Um, so let's talk arms a little bit. Oh, okay. But, Cause we're going to talk about what's going on with this business. That yeah. You're saying. This is not the arm it's, business. It's freezing here and I got some sleepless. Arms. Yeah. So we'll talk about that later. That's the arm. This is like the arm stuff is totally separate from the fact that we happen to be wearing sleeveless. That's a story and we're going to share it. Okay. Um, but this, the arm business is, you know, we have a minor procedure coming up this week. Yes. To take there, off. There's like a little bulge that little we both right have here. by our elbow that she's going to nip and tuck. And so that's going to happen. And then we're going to show pictures and it's, and it's funny. We talked, you know, I keep saying, it's funny. I keep saying to my friend, Lori, since we're going right in my face, Sorry. since we're going to the trainer, like, I feel like my arm, I keep saying my arms are big. My arms are big. And I, and, and I think it's mental because yeah. I went and had surgery to make them not big. And the reality is, and they're not as big as they were. Trust me. I mean, I'm three very happy, <laughs> but my, the, tr the training Look at the, I mean, I have like, literally I have a gun. I, I mean, it is a bulging muscle and it's just like, my arms are big and it's yeah. kind of stressing and I know it's mental. It is. And I really keep saying, you need to stop saying that. She's like, it's strong. It's fit. It looks good. I'm like, but in my head, it's big. So I'm trying to conquer yeah, your head. this. I get it. I'm trying have to the conquer same. this. I feel the same way. I have not, I've not adjusted. I'll never be somebody who goes like sleeveless, like running well, outside shopping yeah. to the gym, to my trainer. I'll go sleeveless and it's, yeah, I'm fine. Well, not right now because it's stinking freezing, freezing outside. Um, but like but, out shopping, yes. short sleeves. Yes. yes. I, I will definitely, but it's, it's, it's mental. And my, and I know it. And the, seeing this muscle, I mean, I, I I've got the bicep and we, and trust me, well, once we have this, uh, the little nip done tuck, we will show all the arms and yeah. we'll show the business and we'll take pictures and show them on maybe, Instagram. This stuff still exists. Sure. She didn't, I didn't have a surgery on my, tri on my uh, forearms. Forearms. So she, Cause you still have this. And she's kind of, she's matched. She didn't pop by us. God love her. <laughs> um, and I am working with my trainer on my tricep now. To get the tricep. So to do but, as good as the bicep, which I am so super proud of. I would wear this to my trainer. But that being said, let's talk about what I'm wearing. This is a story. Okay. Are we going to tell a story? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, I thought we were going to wait until later to do this. You're messing up my... my, my you want to do a share first? Stuff. I want to share a story. Okay, you want to share a story first. You want to do the story? No, we can do that first. Let's do it first. You want to do that first? Okay. Okay, first the story. Okay, so I go to Kim and I say, Kim, somebody reached out to us and asked if we would try a pro their product and share it. And we're usually always very excited to do that because it's so sure. nice that people want to send us something to try. Sure. We are always very forward with, we don't accept payment. We will try your product. If we love it, we'll share it. If we don't, we won't. 
Yes. So that's our rules. This was the first time Athletic Wear, a sports company, Which actually right. reached out to me and said, would you try our product? So what did you say to me when I said I yes. had the look of horror on my face. Why? Because I was hesitant to. It scared me. Tell me what. Tell them why. I, we, we, <laughs> you still have certain stuff. I mean, I still am self-conscious about my arms still. You're still getting it's, there. It's, I'm getting there. Go ahead. I have my mom's legs. We, yeah. Genetically. I have big calves. I have big thighs. I have never, ever been able to put on the legging that didn't sag between my legs. Yes. And it fit and properly. It, and it did, the, then because I have to pull it up enough not to sag between my legs. And then Crops it crop me too short in the... And I was always so self-conscious that they I... They never no. fit right. I Actually, sometimes it didn't fit at all. Yes. And we we're both like, okay, I can't believe I said yes to this because now what if we get them and they don't fit? And then I would feel really bad. Yes. Because I would feel super bad to say, sorry, your stuff doesn't fit. It doesn't, doesn't fit me right. right. Back. Do we, you what know. do I do? So I was like, I was like... So I looked at her like literally like horror. I can't believe you said yes. And so anyway. So anyway. So they were just super nice and they coached us through, okay... Give us your measurements. And I'm like we did. horrified because I'm like, this is going to suck. So that we, was my thought. Yeah. We give them measurements and they sent us, sent us product. What do we find? It fits. It's amazing. <laughs> I am not kidding. I'm going to say Yvette Sports. Y-V-E-T-T-E -E um, Sports. I have to say, I never in my life, I'm going to tear up, thought I could wear leggings. Thought I could wear the kind of sports athletic gear that regular they, people they sent to us. That not regular people, just... Well, that's how I... In, in in their head. You know what I mean by regular people. So people I... People never struggle with their weight. Yes. So I never thought I could wear these. And I get them, and I literally... I'm, 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 just, I'm looking at them, and, and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to put these I'm on. Gonna, it's like a fit. They're gonna, and if I do, I'm going to feel like a stuffed sausage. Yeah. And I'm going to feel like... It's going to sag my legs. And it's going to... Like, I, I'm going to feel like com, like I'm being squeezing me. Mm -hmm. No. Perfect. I am not kidding you when I say I would sleep in these things. <laughs> the I, leggings. I, I would sleep in the I leggings. Would, I actually wore the sports bra. Not the tank because I put I put sweatshirt over this thing because I freeze in my, my trainers right now until summer comes. Yeah. But I wore the sports bra and the pants to my trainer on Thursday. It was, I was able to literally, he has me get to this one position. You squat down to the floor and you, to your hands hit the floor in this, and you can't bend your back. And grab this medicine ball. And I was able to do it with these and not be restricted. They were so flexible. There's so many wonderful things and about them. I've got to share you the even best part. I took these to work to my coworker who's like, oh my, bring them, bring them. I want to try them. I'm always looking for good leggings. Yes. And she's like, what, five, six, slender, never struggled with her weight in her life. God love her. So I told him, like, hey, I'll just have you try them on. You can just see how they feel. So she brought him in. She's like, yeah, I am going to try them on. And she tried them on. They fit her. Sisterhood of the traveling pants. Sisterhood of the traveling pants. <laughs> She does not have my big legs. Sister and, traveling oh, I was cracking up. And she's like, oh my God, I love these. And I'm going to explain too. what I think that is in a minute. Because we're going to tell you like all the wonderful oh, things God. we're finding about these. And I, so another thing say, I love about I the leggings. I'm like so excited that I too. This is what they sent us. They sent us tanks. Which are super cute. You're going to see a full body of them. Yeah, I'm going to show like, you a full body. They just go right over the, the sports, sports bra, bra which leggings, love, the and the tanks I'm absolutely obsessed with. I'm obsessed with all of it. Comfortable, like I I can't even express. Um, you know me, we only gush when we actually love something. And But I want to tell you about why, why I think the product is so great. And I talk about Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. But what they really call this, it's called Stretch Yvette Technology. And it's like... It, it's like a, they're lightweight and silky feeling. They feel so luxurious. Exactly. They they have this. It says it's, it's a four way stretch. They're breathable. They fast dry. They're sweat wicking. I can't even tell you. You can see my lovely slipper. Oh, but let me show. I love my Bomba socks by the way. <laughs> anyway, see look. But they are like they're so silky and they feel wow. like they're incredibly expensive and the price is amazing i'm gonna say that to you if you wear i don't know is it what are the other sports athletic stuff i know they're kind I of expensive wear and i can't wear so i don't know yeah because i've tried them doesn't work 
Um, these are amazing. They have this cool max technology. Like. Um, they also are, they are like protected against like the sweat and the sunscreen and stuff that you put on and in lotions. They do, do the dry wicking, but mm -hmm. they, what they have is this cool max technology keeps it from like, you know how you, when you wear like sunscreen or sweat, you know, when you sweat, mm -hmm. it exposes your, your gear to like breaking uh, down and stuff like that. But it has a technology oh, that helps protect like I put, against I put, that. I put lotion on my legs before I put these on. Yeah. And that's okay? Yes. Oh, I because it's, like, it's got this cool max technology, external damages like UV, sweat, sunscreen, um, can cool. degrade spandex, but it said this has a, um, it can shorten life, but the cool neck. Uh, the cool max technology acts as like a shield to protect the fabric, which I think is great. That's the big thing. But my bigger thing is that the stretch vet technology, I'll be honest with you. I feel held in, but not constricted, but not constricted. And you know what I love about the leggings? There's this band. It's it's, super it's, wide. It, this is their wide band. And I love how wide this is. And it feels like really, it, it just is a nice, it, it kind of gives that nice, you feel um, supported. supported, and I love it so much. I can't even tell you. Yeah. I'm loving in the legs. So it's a many colors. It's a high waisted legging, which I love the yeah. legging. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the links to everything they sent us down cool. in our um, down in the video, and you can click on any of the links and go look at what they sent us. But I, I'm just in love, and I can't wait to order because I'm ordering. I'm going to order the black. And there's the tank. I want the burgundy tank. The tanks come in threes. You can buy them in threes. Three. Packs of three. Which is really nice. The prices are, I mean, like just for instance, I don't know if I have the prices on here, but the prices are really great. I remember thinking, wow, that's, I mean, I think mm -hmm. they sent us the tanks. I think the three tanks are on sale for like 23 bucks or something wow. like that. The prices are amazing. And, this, and just, if you have questions, and I always suggest this to anybody who's ordering clothes or anything yeah. online, if you have questions about the fit and their size chart, yeah. message them or call them, call yeah. customer service, whichever one. And I, I can, I mean, they guided us. Yeah, they were great. They were great. So I um, go check out their website. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to put the link below Especially too. Especially if, if you've been looking for sports wear. They, they, they have plus sizes. And feel they like have, you can't find anything. So they have sizes available for everyone. It's not just, you know, it's not just a size small. small. You know, it's it's for everybody. The rest of us can wear it And too. I'm super excited about I'm Like I said, it's, it kind of chokes me up a little bit because I'm just like, I never thought I could yeah. wear like something like this and feel comfortable and confident in it. I can't even believe it. Do you want me to see if I can figure out how to like flip it so you can show, yeah. show them what it looks like? Yes. Okay. Let me see if I can figure this out. Bear with me because you know, uh, if I can't, you know what? If not, I'll just, whoo, whoo, whoo. I'm going to just go around. See and the tank? The sports bra. This, you get to see my big poodle bank see, too. Poodle bank. See? Sports bra tank. I love. Uh, if you okay. want to show the leggings, the leggings are great. Leggings. We're going to show them on Instagram. Yeah. Trust me. We'll take pictures and show them. I love the leggings. They're super. They're and super, they go down to the ankle. And they ankle. go down to the ankle. Super love them. They're great. I love. I, I feel great. I, I absolutely love these. The, and I have to say, the sports bra is not painful and binding, but it feels like it has a lot of support. I love them. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go I, back. Did, I did pretty good. I didn't do too, too bad. I didn't do too, too bad. kind of setting that up. So anyway, just want to share because we're super excited about it. And we want, I just want, everybody should feel great in their workout gear because yes. I actually have never have. No, me neither. <laughs> I've always been just like, um, yoga pants and sloppy yeah, t-shirts. The, the most cottony, cheap yoga pants I could find along with uh, yeah. a t-shirt or a yeah. sweatshirt. Now I feel great in like athletic yes. wear. I can't even believe I'm saying it. I know, it. I can't believe we're actually so, the so at this video. point, Kim was like, Kim, <laughs> When she was like, "Do you think this is a good? I think was, Do you think this is a good idea?" Hey, then, I was horrified. And when she said it, I was like, "Oh God, you're right. What are we gonna do? <laughs> what are we gonna do to tell these poor people that they didn't fit and we look like crap in them, but we want to send it back?" Oh my God, but they're okay. fantastic. I'm well, just so saying it. Let's move on. So Yvette Sports. I'm gonna say it one more time. Y V E T T E oh, Sports. And, and links to everything's gonna be below. They gave us a coupon code. Hey man, permanent coupon code. Yes. Fifteen percent off. Fifteen percent off. For KK15. So, woo! KK15. I will we're, We've already started sharing it with friends. Yeah. Because we're, we're like, you have got to try this on. <laughs> Some of our friends Again, are going to be ordering too. Sisterhood of Traveling Pants. Because yeah. I've got to order a black pair and I yeah. already have my list. Yeah. Okay. So, other stuff to yes. kind of. So, I'm going to kind of backtrack. 
We're so backtracking. this week, I got too excited. Well, you did. <laughs> tracking. Yeah. Tracking. Yes. Water. We've meal planned. We've grocery shopped. Yes. Bite. Now, bite. Biking. Another thing I want to share that we're doing. We're at a meeting on Saturday. <laughs> oh, and God yeah. love Christine said one of the things her goal was the week before was to not do a nighttime snack. Yeah. Just not to snack at all in the evening. And after we dinner. do one and usually we do one. Anywhere from three to six, sometimes two to six points. So it's in a but range. considering my weight gain the last, uh, since the holidays, yeah. I, I need to not snack Cut this week. Snack. I need to see how well I will do if I can get that three pounds off this week and avoid the snack. It will be good for me not to do that. Now, I, what's a week? I can right. try this. I can do this. Now, we don't count a snack list. Like, if you do feel like you want something, if you have a, like, a lunchbox size apple, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Or if a I handful need, of if blueberries. If I need to grab an apple or something. That's fine. I, I don't kind of really consider zero point foods right. an issue. For me, it's the point of snacks that I need right. to, to let go of this week in the evening. Yeah. But I think that's the thing is like, if you do feel like you need snacking. something, like especially after you ride, like you ride the bike later, we do later. Oh, and yeah. you need a little bit if of If I a, need it, I would grab an apple. If I, yeah. if I needed it, I, I wouldn't starve myself, certainly. But other than um, that. But if it's not, it's not getting tracked, no snacking's getting tracked. So there's going to be no snacking. Um, so that's my goal, but and I'm really speaking, excited about it. But speaking of snacking, I gotta share. Oh, those. but I do need. Well, it's actually not snacking. I, I do these a lot for my lunch. Yes, but I want to share what's in my freezer too. What oh, I got at Sam's. Oh, I go get that. Super, super. You excited go get that. About. I'm gonna share this first. But okay. Weight Watchers has a new thing, and I'm sure everybody's seen it. But you know, we finally got onto the bandwagon here. The crunchy nacho tortilla chips. Oh my God, Kim, are, are, do, she and I both agree that these are ridiculously fabulous. They are. I like them better than the chili lime. I, I do. Right? Because I didn't like the plain, I liked, well, mm -hmm. I say chili they didn't like. What? I didn't love the plain tortilla ones they got no. after. But I, I think they, they hadn't figured these out. These are better. I think they hadn't figured out the good replacement for the chili lime. They didn't have any, they were good, but they didn't have any flavor. These have flavor. Flavor. They're like, yeah, they're like can't. Doritos. They're fabulous. And they're kind of like, um, I hate to say there's like a puff, on, not, not puffy, but there's a little bit of puff there. There's a little puff and chunk. They're crunch. really, really, puff and crunch. really, really. And you get, yeah. uh, you get a lot in there. So I, I was, yay, Obsessed. we have a replacement, replacement something for the chili, chili lime. lime. Finally. So one of the things that we discovered, because oh, here in Cincinnati, Grater's ice cream is a big, big deal. And you may not know what Grater's is, but Grater's is the best ice cream ever. And ever. they have one that's called black raspberry chip. Yes. And there's some, their chips will sometimes in their ice cream, you can get a scoop of ice cream with a chip that big. This big, thick chip of ice cream. And needless to say, and all their ice cream if, we, if we eat one, it's because it's a special occasion we plan because, wow. Because you get, like I said, you can get these giant, big hunks of chocolate oh. in, your, in your ice cream. So good. Not even right. Oh, it's not even right now. Yeah, what one? Um... We found this in our sort of the Yasso brand. It's a, there's one of those Greek yogurt, like, um, popsicles. I hate to say popsicle, but a bar. Yeah. Um, and every once in a while when I need graters, this is the best substitute ever. Yeah. Um, it's but their you know black raspberry chip, five points. I'm going to challenge Cleo bars because I love them so oh, much. I love I'm going to challenge bar. you guys to do a black raspberry. Yeah, Cleo, <laughs> do a black raspberry. Oh, we, need to, we need to message him. I know. Hey. Black raspberry. I might die. But you know, <laughs> if you really love ice cream and yeah, especially if you if you like, I mean, the, there are other flavors. I had one of the other flavors. We have one of the other flavors, and it was really good too. It was a um, was it the peppermint? It was fine. It, it was a peppermint, which was good. It was this really is, good. I loved it. This is more my just the ode to the greater black the raspberry. raspberry. So Chips. try them. I think they run most of them run four or five points. I think the majority are five, but I think they have one or two out there that's a four pointer. Five, and they're really good. It's like having a nice cold, um, you know, treat like ice cream treat. It feels like ice cream. Honest to God, I just I take it when I I eat it. I'll eat it when I have a like greater. I have been on the hunt. For a turkey burger for a very long time. We have, because I've found some that I just, eh. I don't, I, I don't want it to be sketchy, where I'm like, <laughs> it tastes gamey, or, I mean, it's not supposed to taste gamey, it's turkey. turkey. Um, so it's got to be, have that nice, lean, clean taste. Yeah. And I was in Sam's, yes, Friday, with my friend Laurie, and they were, you know, you know they, they do the samples? You know, the samples? Well, I was fortunate enough that I passed the lady, and I saw the butterball, and I eat their sausage, and I should we share the sausage? I think we did. Oh my god! The I make sure good. though. I gotta get the sausage just to make sure. And they saw these. I mean, this is the pack of twelve, but I'm sure Kroger carries them too. Smaller. I just never really paid attention. And they're fabulous. They're a quarter pound. They're big. So they are a nice size they're big. burger, and I just eat them by themselves. I'm not even on a bun. Yeah. And 
they are very, very big. I made them the other night with the, um, with a veggie, with um, green beans, and like the Idaho and mashed potatoes, like the microwave ones, individual because ones. that's the individual ones in there. Point wise, it, they're lot, you know, they're portions. Delicious. And I do want to share. Let me get some and put this back so it doesn't. But I want to share Ball. with you uh, one of the other butterball items. Yeah. So and they and they're very they're nice and thick. Um, I take them idle out of the freezer. I, I microwave defrost them just a little bit, and they're still a little frozen when I put them on a um, a grill or uh, in a skillet and get a nice color on and them and they taste freezer to stove. I mean, yes, they're not they delicious. It says it on the box. Yep. Butterball also does sausage, a turkey sausage. And I will say, I, we probably have them, but I need to share them again because they're, they are did. wonderful. Um, if you really like sausage and you maybe want to do a Kodiak and you want to have, you know, breakfast for dinner, um, they're a great option. And they come in two, four packs and they're big. And one is one point. Two is two is two points, not three points. Right. So, and they're really, really flavorful. And I just put them in a little skillet on the stove and cook them through, and they're delicious. They are. Love, they really love, are. love. Yeah. So if you want them with, you know, throw them with some scrambled eggs, um, mm -hmm. or throw them on a breakfast sandwich for one point and make your own breakfast sandwich. Yeah. They are so, so Yeah, good. I would definitely love the turkey burgers. I'd like to try them on a bun. Yes. With, and what I would do for my side because I love it in ketchup, you know, a la fries yeah. is like um, delicata, either delicata Gosh. or right now I'm all into the butternut squash butternut and I just love a little bit of the reduced fat ketchup on it. So it's like almost like burger and fries type And then you fries. can just take a butternut squash and actually our Trader Joe's, if you have a Trader Joe's, they are, have it already cubed. Yes. Um, just, just fresh cubed, not That's processed or anything, just cut up and cubed. And you yeah. toss it in the oven with a little oil and let it cook, and it's free. Oh, it's pay, all you do is pay the one point for the oil, and mm -hmm. that's a great side. And then that way you can afford, I can afford to do a five-point turkey yeah. burger. And if I wanted to do the bun, then that way I'm not breaking the bank point-wise. Right. I'm excited to actually put them on the outside grill and not yes. inside because it's, it finally got cold here. We went through a snap of, like, really warm weather. Well, it'll be 55, I'm sure, next week. It, it probably Because it was 55 will. the other day. If, like, if you wait a minute, Cincinnati, it will change. I mean, it'll be cold. I mean, literally, it'll be snowing. And then, like, two days later, it might be 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> the beauty of living. But, you know, sky. I keep telling myself that means fewer days of really, really cold here. Yeah. And I just pray. I just got to get through February. That's what I tell myself. Get through February. <laughs> yep. And I gotta tr I'm, I'm turning my little heater on. Because <laughs> we're, we're freezing. And we're in our back room where there's big doors, glass doors. And there's a and door, the door and It's like, it's cold. Like, yeah. So what else do we need to share? Anything exciting? <sighs> Just getting back in the groove. That is exciting. Yeah. I'm very excited. And yeah. if you're new to us and you're like looking for, for, for people to share with, look below at comments and maybe you know, message other people and, and kind of get involved. Yeah. We're going to share, um, on Instagram pictures of us in our athletic work. Yes, that'll be on so, Instagram. I'm so excited. Um, so we are the skinny underscore WW on Instagram. Yes. That's our Insta. Yes. Um, anything else that's super exciting? No. no? Excited. Well, uh, next week, Working hard. Yep, got a doctor surgeon on Wednesday. We'll yeah. give you a little. We'll Hopefully give you a she does something Wednesday instead of scheduling it, but we'll see. Let's do it now. So we will. We'll discuss that next week, and we'll talk about how our week went, yes. how our, you know, the like meals. Maybe we'll discuss some of the meals we had this week. I mean, we have our staples. Everybody does. Um, I'm going to challenge us next week when we plan. Okay. okay. I'm going to challenge us now. I tell you, well, not this oh, week, but next week. Well, I have a new one. What? I tore something out of that Eating Well magazine. Oh. The last new Eating Well magazine, if you have it, had a a casserole with the spaghetti squash. Oh. So I would really I was gonna like, challenge us to try a new recipe. Well, next that's week. what we'll do next week. I've already planned this week, but it's a it's a casserole. Oh, I never thought about just I always put it back in the boat and whatever, but this is like you put it together, put it in a casserole dish and bake it. I'm also a little like craving the um uh that goulash we made. The um Oh yeah. ooh, Emily Bites Emily beefy, Bites beefy, beefy American, American goulash. It's a that is delicious. Amazing wintertime recipe. Yes, it is. You and can Google makes, that. She'll pop and up. And I will tell you, it makes a ton. Yeah. 
So mm -hmm. if you are cooking for one, yeah, you might want to cut it in half. Uh, yeah, you can freeze. Well, even um, so, you'll be freezing until the cows come home. She also gives Weight Watchers points to things. She does. So she does. I would highly recommend looking her recipe. She's yes. great. She's never gone there. Um, it's Emily Bites. And that is one of my favorite, absolute favorite fall dishes, winter dishes. It's such comfort food. Oh my gosh. Um, it's, you know, pasta and oh, it's meat just, and yeah, it's all loveliness. beans. It's all good things. Almost feels like a nice hearty chili, but with pasta in it. Just, uh, there's a little pot and that's, I think what you like about it. There's enough to satisfy, but not too much for the calories to be crazy high. But you get a big, I take a, uh, I do the squat, squat, the mason, squat jars. mason jars and they, and it's like, I think it's a, the serving's a cup and a fourth or a cup and a half, something I can't for remember. For like eight points and you get a lot. Yeah, and you I just mean, it's a lot. put them in there in their fridge and we just pop them out for lunch or for dinner. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's winter time. That's always kind of the best time. Just a, like as that. a friend of mine even said one time with that dish, you know, get it off the stove while it's hot, put it in your mason jar. And if you have the metal lids, put the lid on and almost like self cans. It kind of just, cause it's hot. It kind of, you know, it gives you, it'll last you a little bit longer in the fridge according to her. And she's yeah. like, you know, I'm like, Hey, I like that. And I've, I've left okay. them in a week and they've been completely fine. Yeah. Week and a day. It's been completely fine. So that's what she said. She was trying doing that. She was, it should really seal. We are going on 30 minutes, but we just can't oh, seem to shut up. Can't can't seem to shut up today. <laughs> just had a lot to say. We did have a lot to say. It's been a week. Um, it has, it's been a month. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of feel like it needs to settle. It needs to settle back. I feel no. like I'm still in the holidays for January. You know what I mean? Don't you feel like that? Nope. I'm so excited about no, it. No, not excitement. I mean, just like busy. You know how you're yes. so crazy busy in busy. December? I felt like our January was like that. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm ready for that not to be, for not to be so busy. But then when you're not busy, you complain. Oh, okay. Because you've got need, let's do something. That's true. Let's call the friends. Well, you can't make something. me happy. <laughs> just I'm just gonna complain either way <laughs> too busy not busy enough okay we'll see we will see you next week lighter later